Right then, I've been dumping bits of resin into this for months. Right then, in the lathe I have a piece of that uh, natural teak, the Balinese teak. Um, when I got it, it had loads of cracks in it. Right, so what I've done is I've, I've <coughs> spent ages, any time I've got a spare bit of resin left over from something, I've been throwing it into these cracks. I don't think I've got them all, so I'll have to use some um, CA and sawdust to fill whatever I missed. Right, uh, but I'm gonna turn it into a chalice and it's a little bit different because of all this resin in it. And I think it's gonna look really nice on the in the middle of the stem because it'll be going down into the heartwood. So I think it'll be a little bit different. So first thing I'm gonna do, of course, is round it off and get it into a chuck. So I'll go straight into that. Right, then we're round it off and in the chuck. I just need to take that down slightly more there, and I need to sort of see that crack, and probably that one as well. down a little there. Now I just need to start out that crack and that crack. Makes the I didn't get resin into. Sure it walks down into the crack. So, 95, 95 to the halfway, just to give myself an idea what I'm doing. Okay. Now that's actually not going to be the middle, the middle of the goblet's going to be up, or the chalice is going to be up here a little bit, because I have to leave room to part off. And then, Grab my parking tool. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set a distance for a while. Start putting that bowl shape in. Needs an edge on it. Let's see if that's cutting any better. It should be. Oh, yeah, it's much better. Let's keep this straight side on it. Happy with that shape. No, I'm not happy with that shape. Yeah, 
going to the better. A quick check. I think it's going to be my CA in there. That one looks okay. You can see in there and I need CA in there. So, we'll do this again now. <clears throat> Step into a forced. Right, we've got another scrape just to clean it. Clean out the excess CA. Yeah, that's good, and that's good. Right, and now we get to hollow on this. So I'll get this out of the way. Make it easy on myself by drilling out of it. Of it. Check how deep I want to go with this. With the drill, anyway. I only want to go down about that far with the drill. Because I want to carve that bit in on the inside. So about just at the top of the three where it says the numbers. That's where I wanna go. Right, I need to square off the top and then hollow it. So put an edge in this bowl guys first. Then we start hollowing this and I want to back hollow it. It's small. the width that we want it to be. It's close. A little height. Excuse me, only have the smaller ball gouge in there. to be quite a chunky goblet or <clears throat> nice. yeah. they're bouncing there I'm going to need to reset this Safest way of doing that is bring that tail stock up. Put a bit of pressure on. Open this, tighten it down again, and close it again. 
And there we are. Buck two, round again. There is fine. Depth is okay, but I need that core. I'm not happy with that core. Mm. I call it around it. Pull it out for a while. Top of that curve is still good, but down the bottom I'm not happy with. Just here on the curve I'm not happy with there at all. Get in there with the negative right, maybe. Now I need to check that for right. I need to do CA inside there before I do anything else. And so I'm gonna leave it on the chuck, take it off, sort out the inside of that. Sorry, I keep hitting this camera with my helmet. Sorry. See just there. And I'm not happy with that at all. See it, and then uh, I'm gonna hit it with either a carboid or the negative right striper. Probably the small negative right striper. Not the negative right striper. Cracks are fine. And then just need to raise a new bore. Right, you got to make 
I'm going to round this edge with the scraper because I have it in my hand. And now I'm going to sand and finish the inside of that. And I have a good bit of hardwood showing in there, which is grand. Right, I'm going to sand and finish the inside of that, and I'll be back in a sec. Right, I'm just buffing the wax off. And uh, the inside is quite pretty. I had a slight problem when I was sanding just there, um, where all the cracks meet. It had actually gone a bit like hollow in the middle and really soft, so it just popped out. So I had to fill there with um, CA and sawdust. But the rest of it seems just fine. Nice blue stripe in it there. I'm really sure. I thought I put some red resin in this as well, but I can't remember. Right then. That is quite pretty, and I like the way the hardwood is going in it. Right then. Now we get the outside of this done. Which shouldn't take that long. <coughs> Right, now, when you're doing something like this, it's important that you support the inside of it. And where's my thingy? There it is. You can use anything. You can use tennis balls. Uh, there's loads of things. I have this little yoke here. That fits over my life center. It's got a sponge on top. So it won't mark anything. Put it in. Just a little bit of pressure. Spins good. Right. And that just gives support the whole way down that stem. Alright then. Now. You get the outside of this shaped. You know, I still have the rough idea where that line is in my head what I want to do first is to find where the foot of this is going to go which is go there it's going to come up on a swoop from there so now I can get rid of a lot of this There's a really soft spot just there. It, right, do you see this here? The way that's there's like a really soft lump just there. That's what I hit inside. So I may have to do the same with that and fill it. And I spotted something there, I did. Yeah, right. are not behaving themselves 100% today at all. And anybody who's been on the channel knows that I get days like this because of the Lyme disease. My hands just don't work right. We keep going on because I don't have time to 
to uh, want to mess around. Slightly closer, as close as I can to this. finish cut on the outside of this pole down a little more before I put the detail in the middle. I'm going to make the foot here a little bit fancy as well when I get down there. start thinking about the thing in the middle here right so I want to give myself an eyeball mark which is about there that looks like about the middle between there and there right so I will grab my small parting tool myself a couple of cuts either side of that Couple of cuts out of side of them. Put more on that one. Now I'm going to make in there fancy after I bring that down to there. Reduce that down a lot down a little bit first. I need to make those cuts a little bit deeper. One, two. So I can get rid of that a bit more. And something's a bit chipping off there. Hopefully it's not too deep. Down there now, I'll get away with that. Right, I'm gonna have to recut this because I slipped there because I let me mind wander to this instead of concentrating on what I was doing. And I'm gonna leave that in the video. As I always do. Right. But the reason I, I caught there was because I was thinking about this rather than what I was doing. That's about 
Right. And do the same here. Bring this end down. down a bit. Hopefully this one doesn't break up the same as the last one did. Bring this down. Right, get the detail gouge so I can get in here a bit more. Gotta make, try and make this straight because it's there's a flat in it from where it broke off. See it there? Right, and there's a big crack going down there. That's probably why it broke. So I'm gonna have to CA all the way down there. <coughs> there was this. I knew this piece had this piece of wood had a couple of problems. I didn't think they were like this bad. Well, let's see if we can get it to finish even if we can't i'll still show the video because you know the way i feel about it it's important that stuff that doesn't work is shown the same as stuff that does work Right then, yeah, let's see if we can get this round again. Without making, taking too much of the width off it. Because I do want to detail in the middle there. So the detail is not going to be as big as I wanted. Have to be a very small detail in this. Oh, those cracks are really bad. Can you see them? Right, I'm gonna see how that again. It's going up there and it's going there. Dropping that glue. As close as I can get it. So this is going to have to be a lot smaller of a detail than I wanted. Actually, you know something? I'm not gonna put a detail in there because that will not take it. That's not gonna take a detail going into it. It's too weak. Anybody who's seen me doing chalices before knows I always put a detail in there, but this one just will not take the detail going into it. Right now I'm going to have to make this sit just perfectly. Right, now go in a little bit. Now 
Right, I've left a little bump there so I can put a detail down here instead of up here. I'm taking a very light cut so I can just put a sandable finish on it. You know, detail gouge, where's the bump, there's the bump. Just put a little detail at the bottom. Here. Because I can't put one up there because it's not going to take it. With that crack in it. Right, and I'm going to put another one here. do a pole cut up to that. <sighs> right, I'm going to have to do this again now, because that is terrible. my own fault for losing concentration. Steve up there. I like that little step there and we put another one into it. Yeah, I'm gonna make that step a little bit bigger because I like that detail there. another one in as well. It's a lot lower. The detail goes in there. Too close as so. well. Yeah, looks about right. Straight about enough. I now don't like that. I'm gonna take that out of it. I don't like it. It would have been fine if I hadn't have got that catch. Uh, but it just looks terrible now. Right then.
Right, I'll tell you now, I'm not super happy with this boat. I said, it's just, I'm just having one of those days where hands aren't working right. Right, I'm going to sand and finish the outside of that. Oh, I'll do that. I'll be back in a second. Alright then, just buffing the wax off. Um, so, so I'm not 100% happy with this at all. Uh, no excuses, even though the lime is kicking today and the hands aren't working. It's just... Um, it's not what I had in my mind when I started this. I had basically, if you've seen me doing chalices before, I have a certain way I do them. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link up there to a video of the way I actually like to do them. But the main thing that's missing out of this one is the detail here in the middle of the stem. Uh, I really like. I think this one's only saving grace in my head anyway is that the wood is absolutely gorgeous and the striping that blue stripe down down there where else have i got a stripe slight blue one there so a little bit of red there so a little bit of red along there but uh as i said not 100 percent happy with it so i will part it off Finish the base, and I'll give you a better look at it. So, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, then, and there we have it. A little Balinese teak chalice with some resin in it. Uh, as you're saying, gave me a few problems. That and the fact my hands aren't working today. It turned out okay. Not what I had in my, in my head. Not 100% happy with it. But, uh, it's it's not bad you know um anybody who's seen the channel for a while knows that if something goes wrong in a video i will always show it because i think it's important for newer turners to know that if stuff goes wrong and that it's okay right um this one it's just it was just one of those days on my right uh so if you like that one, I got that out of it. If you wouldn't mind clicking like on the video, I'll see you in the next one.